Hi guys, this is FFAN16 and welcome to a PlayStation update video. We got some news in regards to the VR headset that's coming after this gentleman over here. It's the new VR2. It's very subtle information, very quick, but it is exciting news. So let's dive in. We're going to head over to the PlayStation blog where the uh, Sony representative came on and said that they are working on the next generation of VR. So if you guys aren't aware, this is here. This is the current VR headset. Um, if you have the newest one, it's a single cable with earplugs built in. And we're using these old move controllers that came back on the PS3 as our motion controllers. So they utilize their old tech with their new tech to bring us VR. I quite like this headset. The only thing I don't like is it's got a bit of a screening effect when you have it on your head. So it does make it feel like you're not fully immersed in the virtual reality. Also, with this only having a strap to keep it on your arm at any given time, even, even though it is safer to keep attached, it doesn't really feel like an extension of your hands as much as a controller. And as you can see, it's very limited for functionality as there is no way to use your motion this way and the buttons are very hard to find when you're in your headset or they're not in the usual order that you would like to feel on a controller so you'd have to kind of get used to where the button placements are to know which is the x or the triangle or the square so let's head over to the blog and see what they are covering on and then i'm going to get into a little bit of my expectations or hopes for the second generation vr headset all right, guys, here we go. I've got the blog up here. As always, all my source details are down in the description below. Please go give some love to the original source. So if we head on up here, um, first details on the next generation VR system coming to the PS5. Definitely going to start utilizing a lot of that PS5 hardware and hopefully get rid of that big chunky box that's come with this set. I'm hoping we could just directly go into the PS5 somehow by using USB type C or maybe they'll reuse the box and we'll just have to have an extra accessory to our VR headset. So more than four years ago, we launched the VR headset for PlayStation, which offered new ways of gaming. I got to say, I do love this thing. Like I love what Sony has done with the in making it marketable to, to everybody to be able to get it is still around that $300 price range to $400 price range but they have come down since they first got launched and it, the newest version did bring a lot of enhancements to the first version if you want to use this on your PS5 though you have to use your PS4 camera which kind of was a bummer cuz i got the PS5 camera too so i hope we could use that with the new one as well this doesn't go into too much details of that. That's going to be future, but it does go into the fact that, yes, they are making a next VR headset, which, again, got me very excited. Uh, it is time we've seen tremendous experiences that have populated VR reality. There's a lot more games out there now than there was when the first one came out. More people are getting more aware of virtual reality with other headsets, so it's more of a common household item now than a uh, future tech kind of situation. There's Resident Evil on it now. There's Moss, there, of which I personally have and enjoy. Beat Saber, which I have not done, but looks absolutely amazing. There's even a Borderlands VR. And if you love fishing, get Monster of the Deep. It's a Final Fantasy 15 fishing simulator. Hang out with the bros, get some fishing done. Um, actually, not too bad. Short story. Today I'm pleased to share the next generation VR system will be coming to the PS5, enabling the ultimate entertainment experience with dramatic leaps in performance. Again, fix the visuals. Players will feel an even greater sense of presence and become even more immersed in their game world once they put the new set on. We're continuing to innovate with our new VR system that our fans can continue to enjoy the unique experiences that are synonymous with PlayStation. Let's see, they're looking at developing. So when they bring out the next headset, don't be like afraid. I think they're still going to have a original PS4 version VR of that game and an upscale PS5 version 
just like they're kind of transitioning with the regular games right now from PS4 to a PS5 upgrade. I don't think they're just going to abandon this one because, sorry, I use that to keep my lenses clean. Um, they're going to abandon this one because they got a new, new, bigger and younger sister on the market. But uh, they're going to phase it out. So although games will be available for it after the launch of the second generation, like any old technology, just be aware it's all up to the developers to make the two different versions to support it going forward and how much Sony wants to support it with the PS5 system. But if you still have old games, you still got an old PS4, you still play with it. It's not going to just stop working from what I know. Don't 100% quote me, but... I don't see them not supporting it with the original games that it got released with. Um, oh, another innovation. New controllers. Please. These suckers are from the PS3. They're lovely. They're great. It's a good way to re-innovate an older product that didn't really hit it off with the PlayStation Move. Very, very short lifespan. So they span. Sorry, they took a, something they could not use anymore and they repurposed it. That's good business, but these no longer work in 2021. This is not how you play VR, and we really need a unique controller for this new system that brings the immersion to that consumer into that VR world. So I'm looking forward to it. They did say they're doing a new VR controller. Good job, Sony. You got me hyped. They're going to do with great er ergonomics. They're going to work with the feels of the hands. Um, so if you've ever seen any other VR headsets with their controllers, it slips on like a glove. It fits nice and comfy in the palm of your hand and it just becomes an extension of your gameplay. So I cannot wait to see what the concept looked of this headset's going to be directly from Sony. There are people's versions of how they feel this is going to look like on the internet, but hopefully we'll get a look at a teaser unit from Sony soon. There are lots of development underway for a new VR system, so it won't be launching in 2021, so hopefully early 2022. So it's like the PS5, you're going to start hearing rumors of dev kits hitting the developers sometime later this summer, hopefully early spring. Then they can start developing games for an early 2022 launch. I'm hoping, again, this is all speculation, but I could either see them maybe popping up and say, hey, look, we're going to be early. Let's hit that Christmas market in 2021. If they don't hit the Christmas market, which it sounds like from this article, they are not forecasting. They're going to want to release probably around March, in my guess, for 2022. Uh, another March or fall seems to be a really happy release cycle for Sony. So expect this coming out hopefully next year. Again, all my speculation, but they wouldn't be bringing us this announcement this early if we weren't looking at a next year date. I'm hoping I can't wait to replace this sucker. I love it, but I want something with more better visuals. We'd also like to thank our PSVR players for continuous support. Yeah, Sony, come ask me anything. I'll give you my opinion on it. This definitely the second unit is way better than the first unit. I've had both units. I did find this one did fix some of the issues I was having with the original unit. One of them being a single cable versus a double cable. Um, as you can see, this one splits at the end. The original one split up like really close to the top and it had a sound bar um, halfway through. That is no longer um, part of a separate unit on the cord. It is now on the headset itself. So they can only go up from here and innovate on the current style and mechanics. Um, so let's head on back to the full camera and I'll give you my expectations for the next generation VR headset. Here's my um, wish list for the next generation VR headset. As I've been saying throughout the video, crisper visuals in the headset. I don't want to look like I'm looking through a screen door. I don't want to see the pixelation of the world I'm in kind of fuzzy over top of the experience. Now, some of the more brighter colored cartoonish type games, you get a little lost in it and you don't really see the grain of the visuals, but more of the darker, uh, fast paced games like Skyrim, 
you could tell uh, that there's some graininess there. Uh, besides that, I would like to have less reliance on the PlayStation camera. Being able to be a little bit more immersive in my play space without worrying about getting outside of the camera's view. Having it more like being able to read the size of my room rather than me being in a specific size of the camera. The next thing which we know they're working on is a more um, VR type accessories, especially the controllers. I'd like some joysticks on it so that if I'm moving around, it's easier than clicking the move button and jolting my way around, although that makes it better than me actually walking because I do get vertigo and motion sickness. And I'm hoping with the new visuals on the headset, the vertigo and the motion sickness goes down a little bit. Also, uh, this this you could definitely tell you're holding almost like a wand, which works great for the games where you have to like and you got a sword or a, a magic wand. But for walking and immersion, this poor old girl just doesn't have it anymore. So better immersion controllers. Just slightly better uh, aesthetics with the eyes on the camera. As for like weight and feel, I actually have no complaints with this. The only real complaint I have is I can't really wear my glasses in my VR headset. I know it does allow you to, but I find it a little uncomfortable and I don't really need my glasses to be able to be immersed in the VR world. So I tend to not wear them. Just being a little bit more glasses friendly would be awesome. And not getting seeps of light underneath the little rubber pads on the VR headset. I like to be a little bit more of a seal than the current headset. Besides that, it fits quite nicely. I don't have any complaints. It doesn't give me much of a headache. I could be in this VR headset for about an hour or two before it really feel the weight on my head. So I don't have any complaints there. And do you see a concept of a band? Um, on the new one, a band being right here. I actually like that idea because I do find the headset does slip a little down and I have to adjust it back up. If there's a band here that should help restrict the sliding of the headset and I really think that that was a great concept. I hope they get that idea and implement it into uh, the patent or the design of the new headset. Besides that, I'm excited. I was really looking forward to some new news in regards to VR and where Sony's going with it. I'm glad they're sticking it out and making this innovation in this amazing technology. I don't see it going wireless for this next gen. I'm not too sure how the PS5 would be able to help the rendering between the console and the headset through wireless to keep the integrity of the video. But if Sony can figure it out, I'm all for it. Go wireless. They have said that they're gonna go to a more simple, like, simplistic cable system. As you can see, mine's all tied up, but that's okay. It's something similar to this one, a single cable, but uh, I still get tied into it. So again, are we gonna have a chunky box with it or is it gonna tie directly into the PS5? More to come hopefully in the next year here in regards to PlayStation VR. There is a state of play coming tomorrow from the time that I post this video. So let's see if they give us some more information in regards to VR. If not, PlayStation 5, PlayStation is looking great for the next year. And let's keep on this ride. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you like the content that you're seeing and you want to know more PS5 stuff, I could cover more PlayStation content. Mostly just cover games, but anything to do with PlayStation, I'm all for, especially when it immerses you in the games. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be awesome. Leave me a comment. Are you looking forward to the new VR headset? Will you be picking it up? Or are you interested in picking up the old girl and giving it a try before you invest in the next gen? Thanks so much, guys. Like, sub, leave that comment. And as always, happy gaming!